We have a good story to share with you tonight. A St. Pete fourth grader is making a big difference in the world, and now he's being honored for the incredible work he's doing to protect oceans in this positively Tampa Bay story. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollebeck shows you how age has no bearing on making an impact. That should, this should work. Nine year old Miles Featherson Resch says he's pretty much a normal kid, but his feats are anything but ordinary. Miles started an organization called Kids Saving Oceans. He sells items like hats, t shirts, and stickers made out of recycled materials for a good cause. And I donate all the money I make to organizations that help save our oceans. What started with $13 from his piggy bank has grown to $26,000 for ocean conservation. Miles has even met with leaders in Washington, D.C., and helped co write a book. It's been incredible. I don't think any of us anticipated it growing as much as it did, as quickly as it did. Um, when he came to me as a six-year-old saying he wanted to start a business, it's, it's hard to take a six-year-old seriously when they, when they say that, but he's really persevered through it. Miles was just named among the finalists for the Times Magazine Kid of the Year. Just 20 kids nationwide were honored as finalists. I think it's one of the biggest awards that I've ever received and I'm very proud of myself. Seeing what a change maker Miles is being just blows my mind even from an adult perspective. Like I need to get out there and I need to be doing more. Mrs. Stoddard says other students in her classroom at Shorecrest Preparatory School are catching on and realizing something monumental. It doesn't matter how young you are to make the change. Everyone has the capacity to create change. Miles has an impressive goal. To raise a million dollars. Do you think you can make it happen? If I try hard enough. And he hopes to inspire all of us to do one small thing the next time we visit our favorite sandy shoreline. If you see a piece of trash on the beach, clean it up. You might save a life in the sea. In St. Petersburg, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.